Okay, so welcome to the second uh, video tutorial. In the previous one, we uh, talked about how to um, change directories, move up and down, get your current working directory, uh, and so on. So now, the fact that we know how to move up and down, we need to work out whether files are actually directories or whether they're files. And in this case, we're going to be working out if it is a directory or not, because um, the more and more you move on, uh, the results which you get are just going to be strings, they're just going to be names. You're not going to quite be certain whether it is a directory or whether it's a file because some files don't have extensions, file extens extensions like .php or .jpg and so on. You know, you have empty files. Now, um, like this for example, I've made then an empty file with no uh, file extension. And especially in Linux, there's a lot of files that don't have file extensions. Um, and you don't have to have a file extension in Linux. Um, OK, so we need to know um, whether it is a directory or not. Now, if you know anything about Linux, then you'll know that uh, when you look at the output of the listings, you'll see whether it is a file or not. Um, but this way, we need to do uh, an actual check. So um, what I can tell you is that um, the document root of this one um, server is then var uh, www vhost and then it's youtube and then it's http docs okay and within s with inside of this um, uh, one folder is then another folder called test and you can see on here there's a folder called test now what we're going to do is is a check to see whether this is actually um, a file so what we can do is we can say um, current working directory just to use this one method once again and say this. Now we know that that doesn't come um, with a forward slash on the end because we tested it already therefore what we can do is for the time being we're just going to add a forward slash to the end of it and we can do a simple um, if statement here and say is dir okay and all this is saying is is this a directory now and we, if we say cwd for our variable and add on the end of it test so effectively what we're saying is var www vhost http docs test a directory and if it is then we'll echo out it is a directory else guess what it is not a directory simple stuff hey okay so let's check it and see what it says and it is a directory believe it or not now, if we then put an A on the end, it's not going to be a directory, is it? Because we don't have two directories under there, one being test and one being test A. So let's now do this, and you see it is not a directory. So we now know how to test um, to see whether a file is actually a directory or not. Now, when you start looping through and scanning through all the different files with inside of that one directory itself, you need to be able to know how to find subdirectories um, so you can then do a deeper check inside of there for other files if that's what you're going to do to do a full scan of the file system. Okay, so um, there's another thing which we need to learn about rather than writing um, forward slashes because we just quite don't know how the file system is going to be. Is it going to be a backslash or is it going to be a forward slash? Um, therefore, in PHP, we've got this um, nice little feature um, which is then a defined con um, a predefined constant of directory separator. Now, if you want to keep typing out directory separator for every single forward slash, then um, so be it. Otherwise, what we can use is just a define, okay, and then say directory separator, and this will then shorten this down to ds instead. So, what we could do on here is where we've got current working directory, we can just say dot then ds. And all this is going to do is it's going to replace this ds with then a forward slash um, when the code actually gets um, executed. All right, and it will do exactly the same thing. So we are testing for equality to see if this is actually a, a directory, or see whether test is a directory with inside of the current working directory. Okay, so let's just refresh this, and as we, as we see, it is a directory. Now, do we even need the cwd? Okay, because as I showed you in the previous tutorial, we had this dot and this double dot. Therefore, we could just get rid of it, and we could also just say is directory, just to see whether that one works. You know, this is the way that you learn programming: is you just do testing. Okay, so let's refresh this, and it says it is a directory. 
why is this you ask well because PHP is already in um, one directory therefore it will implicitly check inside this directory first if you haven't give any form of um, directory indicators as such like a, a double dot or a forward slash and so on so it will make the assumption that you're talking about testing directly with inside of this directory so effectively what you are saying is dot forward slash test okay now if you don't declare any dots or forward slash it's by default going to say dot forward slash okay so that's another way of doing it so we can put the dot forward slash there as well and this will do exactly the same thing now the other question is do you have to then supply a forward slash on the end no you don't you can if you want but you don't have to alright so just to show you that if we do um, without the dot forward slash and just do test with a forward slash on the end it will still come out as it is a directory because it's it's all correct syntax for you to be testing okay so naturally we know that is directory then returns a boolean so it returns true or false uh, whether or not the directory exists or not okay so it's not going to return any file handles or anything like that it's doing nothing more than giving you a yes or a no whether or not that is a file or whether that sorry that is a directory or not okay so it's a good starting point for us to continue on um, with the other scanning directories and opening directories etc okay that's enough of this video tutorial I'll see you in the next one where we'll delve a little bit deeper um, into directories and file systems okay thanks very much for watching um, thumbs up subscribe um, contact me like share uh, do all of these great things um, and I hope you've learned something bye bye then.